Congratulations. Anyone wants to give a gift into the bag for us to get another 10,000, it'll be more than welcome. More than welcome. So everyone in the audience is going to go home for one of these. And I want to tell you something. Give us one of them for a minute, on. When you get one of these, it is going to protect you. But what did protect us is what the government did to save their friends. But when they did it to save their friends, they didn't realise they were giving us a loophole. <laughs> they didn't realise they were giving us a loophole. But little old eagle eye Jimmy that doesn't let a tea go out without being crossed on a die at it. A, a die at it? <laughs> an eye at it. We found a little loophole. If they're protecting them, their own, from prosecution, they had to change it from COVID laws to COVID regulations. <laughs> so the friends wouldn't be prosecuted. Because they'd have to be given the same treatment then that we've been given the past almost year. So we've got a really, 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 really bad virus out there. Can we get you all out to the front? Out to the front, please. Because we've got a virus that's so bad that we have to be bloody well tested to see how we got it. Yeah. We have to be tested to see if we got it. COVID is a hoax. Yeah. So how deadly is that? Look back, look back in the day. Tuberculosis. Everybody knows what tuberculosis is, TB. And everyone thinks that's gone away. It was taken under control, but it was never gone away. Millions died. I lost a lot of my family back in the 60s and all to TB. That went when it was rampant, the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s, right? They start getting some kind of medication for it in the early 70s. And you are put out into the likes of Blanchestown, James Connolly Memorial called back then, hospital for convalescent. And you were there between a year to two years. And that's what they did then, they isolated the sick, not the bloody healthy. Yeah. They isolated the sick, yeah. and that was contagious, and that should have been declared a, a pandemic, and it wasn't. Why was it not? Because it didn't suit their narrative, and they didn't have any shares in the pharmaceuticals back then. Did you just hear that part of the people? Them in government didn't have shares in the pharmaceuticals back then, so it didn't suit them to do a pandemic. It's because they all have shares in pharmaceuticals now that they brought out a pandemic to vaccinate not only Ireland, not only the UK, but the whole nation. The whole world. Can you imagine the profits in that? This is why they're so determined. To lose millions, to gain billions. To lose billions, to gain trillions. That's what this is all about. Money. Nothing else, not your life, not your elder's life, not your children's life. It's about trillions. Nothing else. Money this is about and control. Because these people, no matter how much money they get, they'll never have enough. They'll never have enough. Like one man said, I got the best car going. It didn't matter. I seen you with a nice car. I wanted your car. I got three houses. It didn't matter. You'd one house. I wanted your one because it was nicer than the last one I bought. This is what these people are like. They want to take everything from you that you own. Everything. Andy, can we have his behind talking to you? Anyone that's at the protest or don't need the GPO, can you please go out the front? Because that's the only thing they can shut us down on if we block the pathway. This we've been told by one of the good policemen. They don't block that pathway and they've nothing to stop you. They have no laws to stop us. We are exercising our constitutional rights of Article 40, Section 6. And we will do this. And I will do it so long as there's breath in my body and there will be no more of stopping it. here that's doing this expecting to be arrested every day we're not here for glory hunters glory hunters don't expect to get arrested glory hunters expect glory i don't expect glory none of us that's here today to speak expect glory we are not glory hunters we are truth seekers yeah. that's exactly what we are truth seekers truth seekers morris truth seekers not glory hunters yeah.
and we will truth tr tr seek as long as I breath of my body I will and they will not stop me. I will not stand and see my family, my neighbour, my friends be trodden on and stamped on by these dirty, greedy bastards in that doll. Clean out the swamp! 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 You hear that, Leo Veradka? Leo, Michael Martin, we the people are going to be doing, and I want you to hear this loud and clear, because I know Leo watches the wall streams, and you know how I know, because he ordered my YouTube to be taken down. And that's how I know him and his bully boy. Oh, he's his friend. Sorry, his friend. His friend, Buzz is his name. B-U-Z-Z. -Z. And he does look like Buzzby, believe me. He's the one that got my YouTube channel down. Leo's best friend. That does his dirty bidding for him online. So I know Leo watches D-Wall streams. So this is a message to you, Leo. We are coming for you. Just like the UK, you all heard on my stream last night, and you've watched it. They are going for the Minister for Health in the UK. They have gone for him. They've got it. They're not, what's his name? Hancock was now in handcuffs. So Leo, Hancock is in handcuffs. So are we going to follow suit, people? And you know what? Do you know what? I want to give them in the UK a yes! 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 More, more, more handcuffs. But you know what? More handcuffs and more handcuffs. Oh, that didn't sound right, did it? Mental picture. Mental picture. Believe me, the, the, bar, is, bar, the bar is so cruel like him. I'm going to take that now and just put that and use the word C-O-C-K. Look at the Lawless. Put on your mask. Where's the bus with the sheep on it? The idiots have a sheep on the second bus. Where's it? I keep an eye out for the bus going by with the sheep on it. He's off his game. He's on track. But you know what's very, very sad about Ireland? The people in Ireland. Do you know what's very sad? Ireland! Ireland! Now, not all you lovely people standing here today. That's brilliant. But this street should be from up there and down there. Yes. Do you know why? Do you know why? Look at London. Yes. Look at Manchester. Liverpool was the last to stand up. Yes. But guess who started to... Uh, guess who's what country started to expose the corruption in the first place? Ireland! Ireland! Yes. Ireland. We can clap ourselves for that. Yes. But the sadness comes after the clap. Because we exposed it. We went down to the docks in February and little old day done a little sneaky one while your man is standing with the gun protecting the tent got into the tent we don't know how I fell in I didn't I did not trespass I fell in right and exposed the truth there was no testing stuff in it there was no tables there was no nothing and Leo what they're doing his um, little pose with his mask and his everything on right what to an empty tent there's thousands going through this tent, he said, getting tested. We proved they were bare-faced liars. Bare-faced liars. And they put the names conspiracy terrorists on us. That's what they did. They put the name conspiracy terrorists on us. So they could debunk us and say it's not true. But they, the video spoke for itself. And then Hulahan said we were liars when the hospitals, that they weren't empty. So Dee went back down a second time and done a second video in the hospitals and proved Houlihan the liar that he is. So no matter how much we prove them liars, the people are still believing in them. So we've changed their tactics, people, from protests. RTE, we're going to get to them now in a second. We've changed their tactics from walking in protests 
to do what we're doing now. We were the first to expose with the hospitals and we were the first to expose with the tents. And look at the crowd here. Now fair play to every single one of you that's here and everyone that comes out here every Saturday. But look, it, isn't that a shame for Ireland that, that was the first to expose it? How simple is that? It's a sin. It's an absolute sin to the men that died here. That's what it is. An absolute bloody sin to the men that died here. The crowd that's here, I take my hat off to every single one of you, if I, we imagine anyone, right? <laughs> that come here. But it's a sin for this should be like London. Because we were the first to expose. The next place I went to was Australia and Canada. And they start going to the hospitals and they start going to the tents. And they used these walls and Gemma O'Dotty's videos to do it. And they got the people up. Now Liverpool was the last to stand up and I was in contact with a man in Liverpool. He said, dear, you and Gemma has inspired us. We're getting out. Look at Liverpool now. They're in the thousands. And shame on Ireland and anyone that's listened to a live stream out there. Shame on you people that can't come out and won't come out. Shame to you, especially Dublin area, that doesn't have to travel. Shame on you for not coming out and standing up for your families. You're not coming out to support the wall. You're not coming out to support this man, this man or this man. You're coming out to support your family. These people are not here for the wall. These people are here for their own families. Yeah. And this is not going to stop, so you need to say, if I don't watch what's, want what's coming down the road for me, I need to get up and I need to get out and stand up for my family. Because we've got 12, 12 rules on the map here from the government. There's 12 in it. And this is the map they had to do step by step. And it was leaked out very early on in early March. And somehow or another it fell into my door and I got my hands on it. It was accidentally. And I got it out there. And I saved that into my private messages, into my private, you know the way you can do saves? They got in there and got that out of me. They got it. So I remembered a good few of them and I had some of them written down and we were able to do 12 of them. But believe me, there's a lot more that they have in store for us. A lot more. Because you all know now, D is conspiring with the Russians, don't you? You all know I'm conspiring with the Russians. And they want to know, will I, will I uh, bring them on a secret number and let them know if the Russians get in touch with me? Anyone Russian here? Anyone Russian? I'm Russian home after this, I know that. But they say I'm conspiring with the Russians because they put me on that TV. Wow. Guess who they sent out to me house? The serious crime owner. <laughs> the serious crime owner. What it waste the taxpayers' money? But they do me a favour and they left their guns in the car, they only had the holsters on. But imagine that sending them out to my house, the serious crime unit. And I conspire under the guise of, you threatened the president. I threatened the president. I said, no I did not, I love President Trump. 